Okay, so it's been a little while since we posted any uh, trade of the day videos. We were for a few weeks. We've kind of dropped off. Our trades are the same thing over and over and over again. And I know people want to continue to see fresh and new trades. And so we're going to go over a number of trades that we took this past week. Okay, so we're going to look at those, but you can see that the trades are the same. They're just the same thing over and over and over again. You don't have to learn a whole lot to learn what we do. Some of these videos have my voice in them from the trade room. What we're seeing is the actual trade room videos. Um, we record them every day. We make them available to our pro traders that, um, that use these videos for practice and study. Uh, and so we've downloaded a few of them to show you what we do, how we do it. And uh, this is basically like sitting in the trade room for an entire week, but you can do it in just a few minutes, okay? So we're just gonna watch a few of these trades. Sometimes you'll hear my voice, sometimes you won't. Um, when you don't, I'll come on and I'll speak about that particular What's trade this, uh, GC? So I have two winners and no losers so far. Yes. And I trade them all the same. I make no distinction. If you look down here at the this bottom, this is going to qualify right here. You'll see what the question was. So I shorted the uh, GC. Another plus five. No, the trade wasn't until the open of this bar. Yeah, so we make our trade decision on this bar, not this bar. Yeah, there was no trade until this bar. This was a visitor in our trade room that was asking a question. Um. That was a good, yeah, it could have been except for a trade setup. This bar needed to have more confluence on it. It was almost so a trade setup for us. To qualify for a setup, we needed either a pullback alert, which is that dot, like this dot, one of these, or be oversold, which is, see this outline here, this greenish, bluish color outline? So it needed either one of those, preferably both, but that doesn't mean it's not going to bounce. It just means we want more confluence of conditions to give us a stronger sense that, you know, the things that we're tracking are all in place for a pullback. This just didn't have as much confluence, so it didn't qualify for a setup, but it bounced anyway. All right, okay, it looks like there. Look at the CL. we'll be looking at a, the first yeah. potential. Uh, maybe yeah, RTY. Yeah, the CL, up, uh, top right. Now, watching this, we also have potentials on the YM and the RTY. So it's RTY where the trade set up, and that's where fast the trade me, was. Man. It was a really fast trade. Uh, not likely something that you could have uh, gotten on immediately, but with practice, you will be able to take, get those trades. Okay, we're seeing a strong push up on the minis. Uh, we've got the ES and the YM both showing speed ticks. And overbought, which is that pink outline. We both we had rock stars on both of them. There was a and you see what happens when couple we get of rock the, stars. We sell the rock star when the that bar opens. It pulled back. All right, so we're getting a uh, a nice push up. See, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a strong potential for exhaustion. So you see how price is pushing up really hard. It's getting overbought. That's this pink outline. Then we have a speed tick and a pullback alert. There was a couple of rock stars. All right, let's go back and look at those again. All right, so this is what we're looking for when we're when on our trade setups. So you see how price is really pushing up here. We were chatting along, and then price started really pushing up strong. Okay, and it got overbought. That's we we can tell that because of this pink outline. We also see a very strong potential for exhaustion. When you see price push hard and fast in one direction, it has to get exhausted. It will get exhausted. When I say exhausted, what's going to happen is the uh, the sellers that are up here waiting, they help have their levels. This is where they're waiting to sell. We also have the buyers who have pushed it about as far as they can until they people start taking profits at see certain levels. So price, if you'll notice, you, you look at price, you can look at it on any chart. It never moves in one direction. 
It moves, it pulls back. It moves, it pulls back. So that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at a really strong move. Now, this is our mo meter indicator. It goes from dark to gray to a lighter color. It's user adjustable. You could have it any color you want. This is how we do it in the trade room. Uh, the lighter the color gets, the more imminent the exhaustion, okay? So we're looking at the fact that on these two, we've got speed ticks. Now, the speed tick tells us that the rate of the orders being processed through the exchange is much faster than is likely us retail traders can do it, okay? So that's very important because there's a manipulation going on. And this happens just before price stops and turns. We also have these dots called our pullback alert. That's telling us that the type of volume coming into this those bars are typically the type of volume that you get just before price stops and changes directions. So we're looking at a strong potential for exhaustion. We're looking at manipulations. We're looking at a, uh, a churning type of volume that we want to see that we see that when the the buyers are getting weaker and the sellers are getting stronger, okay? So now all we're waiting for now is the final piece of this puzzle. And that piece is divergence. Divergence says that when price is going one way and momentum is going the other way, price is going to try to catch up with momentum, okay? Divergence is probably one of the best tools to use in your trading. So we'll watch that now. And when we see the rock star right there, that means we have a confluence of events that includes divergence. This will be where our trade went on. And all we're looking for is a five tick pullback. These little bars on the side uh, are a simple little tool called the OTS, Open Target Stop. Um, and for us, it's just a, a quick visual tool to be able to see where our targets and stops are for our particular trades. Now this this one, uh, it opened and it went straight to target, okay? So did this one open and went, well, almost to target. I can't tell if it, it got to target or not. Um, yeah, it did. And now the expectation is we have this moving, this, this trend that's upward now, right? The expectation is that trend's gonna continue. Because that's why people are trend traders, because they, they're expecting trends to continue. But inside every trend is a pullback. So my expectation is this trend is going to continue. It's not a reversal. It could be. I don't know. But I do know that we will typically get this pullback right here. Okay. Now, whether it's going to continue, people say, why don't you take a lot more uh, ticks? You know, why, why do you only go for five? Well, five are the easy ticks, okay? Those are the ones that we have a high degree of probability or high expectation that we're going to be able to pull off. So let's let's watch it, and this will answer for us why we don't take more than five ticks, okay? We know there's going to be a bit of a pullback. What happens after that? We don't really know, nor do we really care. All right, and same setup again. We've got a strong push up. We're overbought. We got our divergences. We got our rock stars. We sold it at the open of the bar when we saw the rock star. And there's our winners. Okay. Same thing again. Look at this channel on the ES and on the NQ. Big moves. Price is channeling. Uh, and then it pops up here. A Got big strong here. move with a, a rock, bar, uh, rock, rock star, star on the open on the end queue. and we got stopped. Uh, if you got a late fill on it, which you most assuredly did if you took that, uh, you got a plus five. Now, let me explain that. When this bar opened, it had a rock star on it. If you were really, really, really fast, you could have shorted it there. But chances are you couldn't have. So what qualifies, still qualifies for us, is if we can sell this at the open of the bar or better, 
which is when price got up here, then you had an opportunity to get in or better and sell it and then price back down here and it was a winner. For most of the traders in our trade room, this ended up being a winner. Okay, because it's really sometimes it's difficult to get the open of the bar. So you don't want to rush, but you do want to be deliberate. So since it jumped, we all got filled up here and then it backed up for our winner. All right, it was another uh, qualified trade. We call that a naked rock star. Now we call it, oops, I'm going to hit that. We call it naked because it doesn't have resistance behind the trade. If we want to have a, uh, a an area of support or resistance behind it uh, within five ticks or less, then it would just be called a rock star trade, and that's what we started with was the Rockstar trades. There was a period of time there where only trades with support and resistance behind it are the trades I would take. So this particular trade had no resistance. Now we do use, this is the high of the day. We do use the high of the day for minor resistance, but it's still resistance. So it would have qualified for a Rockstar trade if we'd had that there. As it turns out, it really doesn't matter. It did qualify for a naked Rockstar trade, because we had enough confluence for it to be a naked rock star qualifying trade. And the confluence is this speed tick and this pullback alert. Okay, so those two things qualified this to be a valid naked rock star trade. All right, notice price was channeling. We're pushing up out of the channel really hard and mostly only in one direction. Price is overbought. We've got a speed tick. Now we're getting the same thing down here. And we're just jumping out of the channel over here on the CL. So we're watching all of these opportunities. We've got lots of opportunities to trade on here. So we're just going to wait for the open of the next bar to decide on which opportunity is the best one for us. So we had the NQ, which opened and dropped. We had the CL, which opened and dropped. All right, looking at this push down on the NQ. Now, this one qualified for a naked rock star. Again, we had that pullback alert and we had the rock star. See, this was the, the point of entry. You could, actually could have gotten in maybe a little bit better. Went straight to target and then pulled straight back. That happens a good bit. All right, so you can't be timid about the trades. I'm going to keep an eye on uh, the CL and the GC. All right. Okay, bought the CL right there. Bought it at the open of the of the bar. And plus five. Dougie. Almost like I knew. Isn't yeah, that's amazing? something we, we say in the trade room all the time. It's almost like I knew what was going to happen. That's what I'm all about. All right. Now, there's a, a busted out of that channel on the GC. Now this is a, a trade setup called a naked speed tick. This is a, also a real good setup, but it's, it's one of the most recent ones developed. Um, and it's probably one of the last ones you will learn how to trade uh, when you're trading our system. 90 some odd percent of our trades are either rock star, naked rock star, or what we call a speed tick trade. We, we, we do get the naked speed ticks, but not enough of them to really worry about that too much. You'll learn to trade those after you've become very proficient at the others.
Right. So it gets our attention when price has been running like this and there's a channel and then it jumps out of that channel. See how straight up these bars are going now? That's telling us something's about to happen. And we don't have to rush. We don't have to hurry. We see that we have a, a lot of potential. And we we have lots of time okay, to get ready the, for a trade. Uh, YM. ES. RTY. Okay. Sold the YM. So both of those qualified. Almost like I knew what was going to happen, huh? There's your rock star trade on the CL. It's actually a naked rock star trade, but it qualifies no matter what. It's naked because there's no support. These major lines of support are our support and resistance lines. It opened on that line, not, not uh, in front of that line. So it is a naked rock star trade rather than a rock star trade. Okay, at this point, I'm watching the ES coming down on support, oversold, speed tick, low of the day, got a lot of good confluences here for a potential pullback trade, and there's our rock star. So that's where you put on your buy order, another easy winner, low stress. This is not a difficult trading system. It's it's one of those things where we've identified a very strong edge. All you have to do is practice your order execution. That's it. But I'm also watching what's going on over here on the ES. Yep. So another rock star trade. And if you look at these... Uh, trades on our trade of the day videos that go back many many years it looks almost exactly the same very little has changed in all those years we don't really need to change it because it just works on the CL same thing hard push down we're kind of in a channel hard push down hard push hard push then open of the bar with a speed tip I mean a uh, rock star and off it goes this is what starts getting my attention. And then it gets oversold. Got that greenish bluish uh, outline. That's saying that price is oversold, which means exhaustion is likely to be setting in. We've got our speed ticks to say that the, the orders going on through the exchange right now are going through at a rate faster than is, is likely that us little retail traders could be doing it. We don't call each other on the phone. So both of those open with a rock star. And they both backed up a little bit. And gave us an opportunity to get a better fill. Better than the open of the bar. Now, you don't, I wouldn't trade both of them at the same time. You just pick one. Okay, looks like we may have something here on the CL. Wait, watch the CL. Yeah, like what he said. Now I'm just waiting for the open of the next bar before I make a decision. We get a rock star. He did. So I bought it. Sold it. See, I got filled on that. I mean, I sold it. You know what I mean. I got filled on that about up in here. So I did take a little bit of heat on that, but then it turned around. There's another uh, naked rock star over here on the ES. Yeah, it's just too easy sometimes. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said he was going to be gone for a while doing something. All right, so watching the ES and NQ again. 
Also the YM and the RTY, all four of the ones on the left. It's still watching. Okay. So we got no, rock stars it. on the two on the left, but not on the two on the right. So we didn't uh, work, have an opportunity on those. Now, this was not one of the better rock star setups or naked rock star setups because we're still in a channel. But I did want to show this. It still worked, but this is not one that we would normally trade. Uh, we want to see a strong potential for exhaustion. If you'll notice all of the trades that we've looked at so far today, you've seen price kind of in a channel and then just take off and kind of go straight up or straight down. That's what we're looking for. We want to see a real strong potential for exhaustion. Okay, we did get a rock star on the YM and the ES. Naked rock star. Well, you'll notice All right, the, so we're getting a nice push down on pretty much everything. There we go. Now the YM and the RTY are potentials. And the NQ. So I bought the uh, naked speed tick on the RTY. Look, look how price is just channeling. Breaks out of the channel, starts gaining momentum. Look at this difference in the size of the bars and the color of the bars. You know the lighter the bars get, the more imminent the exhaustion. So this is white. <laughs> it's, plus it's about to pull back for sure. Plus one, plus five. See that on the yes. Okay, so let me show you. Let me back this up. Let's see. I show you. We do have, and I know everybody is like, "Oh, you're only showing the winners." Uh, this is a loser right here. But then you get right back in on the horse and enter this trade because this is two separate trades. This trade we up, uh, entered it up here and it continued to drop we got stopped out got right back in on this bar okay now watching the cl this is what's called a speed tick trade we did not need a rock star here because see how hard this dropped see just over a few bars it dropped all the way and it slammed into this support we had a speed tick and we were oversold and we had a pullback alert this bar now open above the support now the reason that's important is first of all this bar had to confirm that this line was going to be support This line, this is our major support line. Price came down, hit that, tested the other side, and then pulled back, and then opened, and then dropped again, hit it again, and pulled back again, and then went on to target. Okay? So this is why we like to have support behind our trade. If this bar had opened on the support or below the support, there would have been no trade here. This is called a speed tick trade setup. Okay, what's the GC on the bottom right? There's our rock star. 
got plenty of time to get a trade on and then it drops easy as that that's what we do over and over and over again so I could show a few more but these are the trades we took uh, this past week they all start looking alike after a while if you've got any questions Please feel free to contact us at support at the intentional trader.com. Ask questions. Yeah, I'm watching the do a free trial. Well, at um, least that's the first one I'm watching. Let's listen to this guy for a minute. Now the ES. Same thing. Breaks out of a channel. You see the pattern, right? Yeah, shorted the ES. This is a pattern. And all we do is trade the pattern over and over and over again it's the same thing all right so yeah i did uh in case you didn't hear it i did short this ES. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. all right well that's a good one to end on i could show you more we took a lot more trades last week more of the same just keep showing them over and over this is pretty much what we do in our trade room every week if you'd like to come hang out with us feel free to look down below in the description and we'll put a link to uh, free trial in the trade room if you've never done it before come join us super easy low stress just come hang out with us and we'll show you how to trade it